why you carry a spear. But you don't carry two of them, mate. Eh? A full size spear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just don't want to touch a dead body in there. That'd be weird. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lost Ship Adventures guys. My name is Jono. I'm Shannon. And we are out here at the Fungamamona track today. It leads up from Aotearoa to Fungamamona and it's an awesome little road. We've been wheeling for two days, well, a day and a half, two Started half days. Started about 3.30 yesterday. I yeah, 3.30 p.m. yesterday we hit the road and we had some trouble. Blue a lot of beads, <laughs> that was annoying. Blew two beads. <laughs> and now we're at the big sort of awesome part we've been waiting for. Through the Funga Mamona Road is a couple tunnels as the road is an old historical road that was cut between the two towns. We've gone through one, this is our second one behind us. Awesome little spot, but first of all, this bog hole to get through. It's been an awesome couple days. It's not gone to plan, but we know how my plans go. It's been again. awesome. <laughs> so let's just crack into it guys and uh, we'll start right at the beginning. It was around 120 years ago the first bridal track was cut through adjacent to the Whanga River through Atahuea to meet up with the Tangarakao River. During that period, as the road to Stratford to Whanga was not well formed, some supplies were packed to them via the Whanganui River using this crude track. By the 1940s, the railway had reached Whanga Mamona, and so the settlers saw a better option in sledging their cream via the Whanga Railway to Stratford. Because of this, the council saw a need to upgrade the Funga Road and by the 1920s had dug two tunnels and built several bridges for us to explore. Time to air down though and go explore this. It's not long and we come across our first little obstacle. This little thing didn't prove anything major but it was a little bit of a sketchy feeling realising that that drop beneath those logs in there was about 30 metres down to the creek. Nice drive by Shannon there though, and I can come along behind him and do exactly the same thing. We blast through this with ease, on to the next one. Guys, if you're enjoying New Zealand's backcountry and love seeing my content, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me get uh, more audience, more people out there actually seeing what I'm doing and then they can go and do the same as what we do, which is enjoy our backcountry, see these beautiful countrysides, and avoid sticks on the road as well as go wheeling and wheeling, camping. We all love it, so we should all be doing it. We didn't think much of this little hole, so I didn't bother to film anything, but it proved to be a bit more of a challenge than both of us had expected. Had to get the max tracks out and use that right foot pretty hard. The early 1900s, the council went through and rebuilt this road with covered bridges, big steel beams, and it was pretty easy to drive across. What you can't see though is the 30 metre drop down to the creek below us again. This place just seemed to just disappear into the bush below us. It was a very cool bridge to explore. Oh, don't know mate, you better get the chainsaw out. You mean your chainsaw, right? Yeah, the one in the back. Go grab it. You need to learn how to use a real tool. <laughs> Thanks man. <laughs> We kind of expected this to come along at some stage, so better kick into doing some work. That's it, tough, isn't it? It's really cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to work. <laughs> Nice. With the road clear now, we're back on the path again, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the beauty of this area. And it's not long though before we kind of find another little challenge. This is where it kind of all went bad. Sounds like Shannon's just spotted our first major challenge of the day. This should be epic. These might be able to get up. I'm not gonna be able to get up. He'll have to winch me, but seriously cool. Let's kick into it. Let's 
this kind of stuff we were edging to try and find in North Island here. We were super happy to be able to come across some of this, take on the challenge head on. This rock step didn't look like much on camera, but just got to think guys, this is a 37 inch tyre there and she's halfway up it. So low range, low ratios, crawls up it without a worry. He's got a bit of a heavy rig at the moment, laden with two and a half weeks worth of gear. He's sitting about three and a half tons. This is a big truck to get up a small trail. Slight readjustments, he's able to line them up and try and get both those wheels up that step at the same time. But she's seeming just a bit too steep. So I jump in with my Neanderthal skills, grab a stick and start clearing because face it I can't be bothered jumping into the roof box of Shannon's truck right there and grabbing the shovel out. But quick kick and he should be good to clear this. Alright Shannon, give it a go. Ah, oh, just two easies up. Ah, oh, all but the rear. Gotta love the sound of that truck. Nah, it's just too much weight in the rear end. We'll have to do a bit of track building here. Give something for those tyres to grab onto. They should be up and out without a worry. Getting trusty Max tracks out again. Good luck, comrade. So close. I want to give it a blast. I'm going to the road. So he's now sitting on my Max Tracks. I'm just going to get him to punch it off there. I'll pull it out from underneath him. And surprisingly, he was able to make it up. Wicked drive. Wow. We gave it a red hot go, but we got to wedge it. She's a bit of an awkward winch angle here, we kind of have to pull him onto the trail. Not bad, the trail. Uh, Always remember to use that winch blanket guys. Have it an easy accessible place, this way you are never going to forget it. If it's hard to get to, you'll ignore it. Just grab it. We'll straighten the line up now, give him a straight pull all the way up. We're going to get him to drive as much as he can, so grabbing the line there, giving him the slack when he needs it. And he's winching. By this point now, we've actually skipped ahead a few minutes and he's already lost that right hand bead. And there's the other one. Second. So he's now sitting on his diff, there's no wheels holding him up. This is three plus tons we're trying to drag up the hillside. His winch was dying, his battery was dying, so I jump in with the surf. We're going to hook him up to a snatch strap and double line the winch pull. Hopefully this will be able to pull him up and out while he's dragging his ass along behind. couple goes just to ease into it see how it feels and we've got a bit of traction there seems like this could be a go we'll quickly jump out double check Shannon's okay double check all the ropes and the lines aren't intertwined or tangled and they're all good seems everything's good give it a gun and he's out wicked stuff Right, okay. Oh, well, this is yeah. what a mess, eh? Yeah. So, we attempted a small, it was a tiny climb to start with. It was a rock, it was a rock step. Uh, I thought it was man, well, we thought we'd get through it, pull me up through it, and now, uh, what, an hour and a half later, I've come up and I've got two beads gone. <laughs> so, not just this one, but the other one on the other side. That's where you get for telling three and a half tons. <laughs> it was pretty tight through here, actually. It was extremely tight <laughs> for this thing. So, it's 7 30 tonight, we're going to start cooking tea stop some beads and find a camp and we are not even halfway through 
well, I say this, but it was actually a walk in the park. We just took a sidetrack for the hell of taking a sidetrack. And now we're sidebitten. I don't know, paid the price. Paid the price. Yeah. <laughs> Let's kick into this, we've got some work to do. How's it going team? Jono here from Lost Ship Adventures. I'm standing outside Southern Lakes Engineering's workshop in Cromwell here. These guys have just finished the install of my new stainless steel snorkel, so let's head inside and check it out. Leroy mate, how's it going? Good, good. Awesome, you've done an amazing job with this. This looks absolutely insane. This one here is a three inch stainless snorkel with uh, welded and polished joints on it. And we've just gone straight through the side guard here into the factory airbox. We can do custom airboxes and intakes right through to turbo. Leroy here runs Southern Lakes Engineering. Uh, you guys, you normally specialize in general engineering, but dabbling a bit more into the four drives now. Yeah, that's right. Um, now that we've got a big workshop and a bit more space, um, getting into the four drive market and um, yeah. Easy stuff. You've even done some own work on bull bars, snorkels on your own rigs yeah, and your mate's rigs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got a GQ Safari and done a snorkel and winch bar. Mean. Roof rack and yeah, rear All bar. the good stuff. Yeah. All the needed stuff. That's right. Nah, legend. So if anyone else is wanting to get in contact with Southern Lakes Engineering, what's the best way? Uh, probably through our website, www.sle.nz. Uh, and we're also on Facebook. So. Find you yeah. there, flick your message. Yep. And uh, yeah, workshops based in Cromwell, but yeah. Easy stuff. We'll start ordering your parts now. Well, Leroy, absolute legend for doing this. It's going to save me um, many a hassle up the Maystown River from now. I won't have to worry about a thing. Cheers, man. Cheers. We'll catch you next time. We awake the next morning to a gorgeous scenery around us. A bit cold in this autumn hours, but the mountains and sunshine definitely put on a show. Camp down in the middle of the Funga Road. I was able to mark this spot as we rolled past earlier, so 9.30 at night we were easily able to run back and camp up for the evening. Time to start packing up for the morning. Assessing the damage from last night. Standard stuff, but hell, this is what it's all about. Good morning, guys. It is 10 o'clock on Friday. Original plan was we would be uh, on our way almost probably in Hamilton by now. We are not even at Whangamamoma yet. Mona. Eventful last night. Back to it today. We've got tyres back on, rolled a bead back on, packed up, leaving camp, finish up the rest of the trail. It's a cool little place this. Good little camp spot this one. Gorgeous hills around here with that low early fog. It's going to be another glorious day in the sunshine. We're amped, we're pumped, we probably won't hit that trail we hit yesterday. Spend a night on the trails, lovely night actually. Good morning today. Let's go find the rest of this track. This is a cool spot. So I had literally just said we probably won't hit that trail today, but you know me by now, you know Shannon by now, and of course we hit that trail again today. Let's kick into this one. Back at the track, um, Shannon blew the beads on yesterday, and I have this stupid inclination that I need to now try it without breaking my rooftop tent. <laughs> Thank you. I highly doubt I'll be successful, but <laughs> my tractor's stalled. But it's worth a shot, right? Bit of a smaller vehicle I have for this little surf, so I'm able to tuck in a little bit easier without the adjusting and adjusting. The downside I have is it's independent suspension up the front, so no real flex here, and of course the smaller tires. What I do have on my side is a little petrol engine that loves to spin some wheels. Windows! Is that my bumper? 
few adjustments here, ready for another kick. And it's just so close to kicking over. I'm gonna be incredibly impressed if this does this. We'll line up again, give it one more shot, just see how we can do. Bouncing that rev limiter, we get the front end up. But from there, of course, I'm not going to get the rear. Right, so, so we gave it a damn good shot. I'm surprised at how far the surf did get it. Um, sadly, I'm not going to be able to climb this like foot wall here. As well as once we're actually up and over, my front wheel's going to go in there and I'll belly out. So, save my beads. We're just going to winch straight up the main line that Shannon took yesterday and hopefully not do a wall. A panel wall, not a, not a track wall. Fingers crossed back into it we know what we're doing now we hook the winch up Shannon at the far end and we just pull me up and through let the winch do most of the work I stopped there to let him take up the slack if you're driving over your winch line you're just going to ruin it super quick good communication between vehicles is always paramount in these situations. Get yourselves a good UHF radio, even two handhelds would do the job. Have a good day on the track. Me and Shannon are constantly communicating between each other here, making sure we're both doing okay, no issues, nothing wrong. And before we know it, I'm out. Time to pack up and keep hitting this road. This has been awesome. Now this being an unknown spot, we are tackling sort of bits and pieces of everything. This one was a mistake. Yeah, I'm filling up with water. You'll find that on my Patreon. Link in the description. After that little hiccup, we're back on the road. We think we've got to keep moving, so she's cruising. The truck doesn't sound too good, but we're cruising on out of here. Sun's out. Trucks are crawling along this trail with ease. It just feels good to be on the tracks in the North Island exploring. Before long we come across this tunnel, first one on the trip, and it's pretty awesome. This spot is definitely amazing, I highly recommend you come out here, test it, maybe don't take the lines we took, but it's definitely worth an explore. We're making our way along towards a small settlement of Funga Mamona. This little township is buried in the hills of the eastern Taranaki and actually declared itself a republic in 1989, and has since attended a sort of cult celebrity status. Easily one of the most interesting parts of Funga Mamona's Republic status has been its presence. Best of which, in my mind, was Billy the Kid. Billy was first elected president in 1999, but he unfortunately died 18 months later in 2001. I guess that's the downside of electing the GOAT as your president. You can never be sure of its lifespan. Arrived at the hotel now, we would stop in and grab our stamp because this is a Republic, but sadly not today. Well guys, we made it all the way out through the Funga Road. It's been an absolute blast and a half. Um, twice as long as we expected to spend in there. Still worth it. Absolutely worth it. Shakedown Run's been a shakedown. <laughs> if you're out this way, definitely hit the Funga Road. There's easy lines to everything. We took a couple hard lines and I wouldn't say regretted it. Learned from it. I loved every moment of loved, it. Yeah, we loved every moment of it. So make it all the way up to the Funga Mamona Township here. Stop in, because it is a republic, stop in, grab your stamp at the hotel. Uh, sadly, it is closed today. It's Good Friday, Easter. And we've got a long way to travel. Otherwise, guys, catch you next time on Lost Ship Adventures. Cheers, team. Sweet. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is... Shannon. Nice. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> Was that a bit of a scare, Shannon? Oh, so short now. For those that 